A beautiful morning on the banks of the Thames. But here is one of London's dirty secrets. This is a wet wipe island, the size of two tennis courts. And there are about ten of them. You can see them here on the, on the surface, but it's also, it goes beyond what the eye can see as well. So it goes right down the mound. The embedded layers of wet wipes are changing the shape of the Thames. This one is in Barnes. Even if there isn't a wet wipe there, you really don't have to go far to find one. So if you scratch the surface there, look, you'll find oh. them every time. So there's one. There are thousands and thousands of these wet wipes here on this mound. It's pretty grim. These have plastic in them and they don't biodegrade. And because of climate change, we get more storms, which means more sewer overflows, which means many more of them end up here. Campaigners also want tougher sanctions for water companies that discharge sewage. Here, a super sewer currently being built under the Thames may help. The worry is that the, the fibres, the plastic fibres that hold together the wet wipes and make them strong and make them useful, you could argue, um, are, appear to be weathering and therefore what we are worried about is that they're actually adding microplastics to the River Thames and that's then making its way into the food chain as well. Local MPs recently brought up the issue in Parliament. They want the government to now ban plastics in wet wipes. Billions of wet wipes containing plastic are still being used across the country, causing environmental damage, blocking our sewers. The consultation finished in February um, and there still is no ban in sight. Would the minister meet with me to discuss the next steps towards achieving this ban? The government says it is considering that. The message, though, don't flush wet wipes down the toilet as it could end up here. Tom Edwards, BBC London.